participating in uh, warm ups or anything? Did you feel extra good? Any any feeling early on this is gonna be a good night for you? Um, I felt it when I was yeah when I was here a little earlier. Uh, I just felt good. I mean, so I was falling, and I mean, I got in the gym all week and just felt really prepared for the game, and uh, yeah, just felt felt good early on. I think uh, a game not so long ago, you did score in all the first half, had them all the second half today. Obviously, a much hotter start. Uh, did you change anything in your approach leading up to the game to facil facilitate that? No, not really. I think uh, I just uh, just got what the defense gave, and then I mean, obviously, Julian did a good job of finding me and. Um, and transitioning a few times, getting in the paint, driving, kicking, drawing people. So, um, yeah, it was just, I was just getting what the defense gave me. They played off, just knocked shots down. You started <coughs> the last couple of games, like when you first were told you were going to start, how did that affect your confidence? Um, I think that in the beginning of the season, uh, you know, when Coach told me I was coming off the bench, I just accepted it and just went out and just played hard, just played um, and just tried to get better every game, just try to fit in that role that he had me playing in. Um, you know, he told me I was starting. I was just happy because every, I mean, everybody wants to start. So it obviously, um, you know, I, I was happy and I just did did what my part is now coming off the uh, the starting unit. How much easier <coughs> does it make it getting into a groove being a starter rather than having to come off goal? Um, I think it's a, I think it's a little easier because you're coming from warm ups. Uh, you get a nice sweat going. Um, you're obviously working hard in warm ups, then you go straight to the court and uh, you know you tip it off and you're already warm. Um, rather than coming off the bench, you know, you sit for a little bit and you don't know when you're coming in um, at a certain time in the game. But, I mean, you just got to play whatever way, you, whatever way he wants, you know, you to play. You just got to accept it. How about the confidence? I mean, when you came off the floor at one point, they were up 18. And then, or you guys were up 18. And then they cut it to 14. And then right away, you came back on the court. And the offense got back in the rhythm. So, I mean, talk about the confidence in, in view of that when your team was just dressing to come back on the court like that. I mean, I think it just, yeah, I just, did my part, and, and I was, you know, he was driving and kicking. J Mac was driving and kicking, and the defense was sagging off. I was knocking shots down, um, and just, you know, really just take what they gave me. And um, I think, you know, when you see the first one go through, obviously you have a little more confidence than if you were to miss the first one or the first two. But uh, yeah, I just did what did what I was supposed to do, knock shots down. Julian, this is your first game back uh, from the injury, career high <coughs> 13 assists. Mm -hmm. uh, what were you feeling out there? What were you seeing? Um. Uh, n nothing different than usual. Just, uh, I think in the beginning of the game, we were really stagnant. Um, I think once we got the ball out in transition, got pushed the pace a little, uh, it opens a lot up for us because we're one of the most athletic teams in the country. So I just got to put the ball in the right spot. This guy's always finished. So. Julian, you kind of snapped on that one guy in the second <laughs> half. Like, were you feeling left out after the Kenobi one? <laughs> um, no, I was I was gonna actually throw another lob, but he held off, so he anticipated. So you know, I saw an opportunity. Luckily, he fouled me. So, Julian, Julian, was the plan just for you to be aggressive, just coming off that injury, to show that hey, you know, I'm fine and I'm ready to go? Yeah, I mean, I think coach trusts me. You know, putting me back in the starting lineup. I mean, as soon as I was able to practice, I did. Um, so there was no drop off per se. Um, just. Try to be, like you mentioned, try to be aggressive, uh, find guys, do what I do best. So. I mean, I, I think we just have guys now that are capable of knocking it down. Uh, it's that simple. Um, when we move the ball, we're really good, as you can see last night. And when we play within the offense, we're really, really good. So, yeah, we got Denny, Caden Reinhardt, Roger Stewart. I mean, we have a ton of guys who can knock that freaking shot down. So. Um, you guys were up big in the first half, and they actually cut it back down yeah. uh, near end of But you kind of put it away, and you came out hot in the half. You drained that three in the corner. What was the message at halftime after you had you guys had let them back in the game a little bit? Oh, well, I think it was just... Keep being aggressive. Um, you know, we like you said, we slacked off a little bit and they made a run. And, uh, you know, we knew we were the better team and we knew we just had to come out and take care of business from, you know, the start of the second half and just finish it off. Jim Edry had his best day offensively, career yeah. high points. Um, did you get a sense Julian once you started feeding Edry, you started getting more confidence on the court? Yeah, um, I think it started off with defensive mistakes on uh, Cal Poly's behalf because they didn't tag, they didn't tag on the roll. And so, our job is, you know, if we if we're if the rolling big is open, our job is to hit him every time. And I want to say like eight of his points came from just rolling hard. So he did a good job. And 
he uh, he showed he could with a nice little mid range too to face up. So that was really impressive as well. Yeah. And when you first heard that Andy Angel was coming here, was this kind of what you guys envisioned? Like that the style would be? At some point, yeah. Uh, we <laughs> obviously went through hell the first two years, but um, it, it's sort of paying off now. We he's him and the staff have done a really good job of recruiting, putting the right pieces together. Um, but yeah, I would I would totally say so. I think today is the first time we embody Dunk City, you know, from from start to finish. Hey, you know, since you only took one shot in the final like sixteen minutes, and really the other guys kind of kept going, was that something you guys talked about in the huddle? Like, hey, you know, let's let's get some of the other guys involved, or did it just kind of happen? No, well, like he said, that they weren't tagging at all, and. Uh, you know, and they were trying to focus on me because I was knocking the shots down. The bigs were open, and a lot of, you know, his penetration and J-Max penetration was open. So, um, yeah, I mean, they were just, they were doing a good job of trying to guard me, and everybody else was making plays. So, can't be mad about that. Get points, get wins. <laughs> Jaden, Coach, you know, point out your efficiency, and you've grown that, grown a lot this season with that. Um, today, what would you attribute to that? Was just Julian sort of kicking out to you, or just feeling that confidence letting it fly? I think, I mean, obviously, I mean, Julian does a great job of finding me, and, you know, we, we work on that in practice a lot, and um, I just feel like <clears throat> as, the, as the season's going on um, and just continuing to get better, staying in the gym every day, um, just trusting the process that you, that you put in, the work you put in, and I feel like the end result will, will obviously show in a great way um, if you're constantly working hard at it and, and trying to get better every day. Um, I think you just grow up and you just realize that you just take what what you know the defense gives you. If if it's your night, it's your night. If it's not, it's not. And um, you know, it's, it's as well as if you're scoring in the first half, or you're not scoring in the second half. You just take what they give you and really just. I mean, the end result is to win. So um, I, I think last year, especially coming off the red shirt year and playing last year, and we went through a bad year. I feel like just now it's it's just. It's all about winning, and uh, you know I want, I've been to the tournament once, so I want to get back. I know everybody on the team wants to get back, so I think it's just growing up in the fact that everybody on the team wants to win and wants to get to the tournament. So everybody's on the same page and and um, just trying to take care of business.